think I'm making up a new phrase, but I think we all have winter storm fatigue. I think yeah. it was still kind of just lingers and lingers. The aftermath, broken pipes still plaguing a whole lot of people. It was intense. Yeah, uh, KETK's Frank Jefferson shows us how our East Texas water problems are impacting houses of worship. Some people walk inside church to escape the outside world. The winter storm brought some of the outside problems inside. Pretty much everything except for about four classrooms in our, our main building uh, were flooded. Pipes exploded leaving this, at least three inches of water. You can see it in the hallways, children's study rooms, and even in the main sanctuary. The changes that we had to make because of the pandemic and then things were starting to creep back towards the normal and then this, this hits us. One. The pastor says the damage is going to cost at least $10,000. And unfortunately, this is not the only church this has happened to. Lane's Chapel went through a similar situation. We had to start to work right then, and we had to take steps to um, start the cleanup process. Both faith leaders say they were disappointed about the damage, but they're not discouraged. The way we're going to make it through this is faith. And the Lord Jesus is going to lead us through this, and, and, and we're going to be fine. Wood Baptist is adapting to their circumstance. Their church is moving for now to the UT Tyler College campus. Their, their building is only about a mile and a half from our building, and so they've agreed to let us meet there until we are able to get back into our building. The, the church has been flooded. The church has been damaged. The church needs to be repaired. And I said, that's just not true. Both pastors agree. The church is not a building. It's the people. Frank Jefferson, KETK News.